Hi, I'm Keith Lee, a Technical Marketing Manager with VMware. In this short video, I'm going to give an overview of how with VMware Tanzu Mish Control, you can provision and manage VMware Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters on vSphere. Briefly, Tanzu Mish Control is a centralized management platform for consistently operating and securing your Kubernetes infrastructure and modern applications across multiple teams and clouds. To learn more about Tanzu Mish Control, see my other videos on the VMware Tanzu YouTube channel. So that we can manage and provision Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters on vSphere from Tanzu Mish Control, we need to register the management cluster with Tanzu Mish Control. In vSphere 7, this is known as the supervisor cluster and provides many services, including the Tanzu Kubernetes grid service. Here you can see some vSphere 7 supervisor clusters already registered. For example, one in my Dublin data center and another in my San Francisco data center. We're going to register one in our Sydney data center. I give it a name and select a cluster group to be the default for any new or existing workload clusters. I now take this URL and off screen use it on the vSphere supervisor cluster so that it registers itself with Tanzu Mish Control. We now see that the supervisor cluster has registered itself with Tanzu Mish Control. Provision is here mapped to vSphere namespaces. A vSphere namespace is a vSphere construct to divide resources of a vSphere cluster between multiple tenants. A vSphere admin can configure storage policies and set CPU, memory, and capacity limits. Here on the Workload Clusters tab, we can see any workload clusters already created and can bring them under the management of Tanzu Mission Control for full lifecycle management of them. I'm going to select these workload clusters and add them to the development cluster group. Now any policies such as access and security policies set on this cluster group are now added to these clusters. No need to manage each cluster individually. In the Access tab of our Management Cluster, we can set who has what level of access to create workload clusters overall, or on a per provisioner basis. As an example here, I'm going to configure my App Ops team to have permission to create clusters using the Development Provisioner. Now with my vSphere Supervisor cluster registered with Tanzu Mission Control, we can use Tanzu Mission Control to provision Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters on it. So I'm going to select which management cluster, in this case my management cluster in my Sydney data center and my development provisioner. Give it a name and if wished change the cluster group from default. Adding the cluster to the cluster group means that all the policies configured for that cluster group will then be applied to the cluster automatically after creation. I select the Kubernetes version which is pulling from the vSphere content library and select storage policy we wish to be used for persistent volumes. I can choose the type of control plane, that is single node or a highly available control plane. We can also change the instance type and storage class if so wished. And finally, we specify the number of work nodes and again can change the instance type and storage policy if so wished. Click create and that's it. Tanzu Mission Control is now instructing the vSphere supervisor cluster in our Sydney data center to create a Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster to the config we just specified. Moments later, and our cluster has been provisioned and added to our development cluster group where all policies of that cluster group have been applied. With Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters now under the management of Tanzu Mission Control, we can perform lifecycle management operations such as upgrades, download the cube config file, and also scale nodes up or down or change the instance type. That completes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more information about VMware Tanzu Mission Control, please see tanzu.vmware.com.